Hello everyone and welcome back to another Fortnite video. FNCS Solos just finished in EU region, such an amazing performance from all players and congratulations to the winner. Please guys drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, 80% of my viewers are not subscribed so let's take that number as low as possible. Enjoy the video. They are fine for elimination points, placement points, so every second that Janus stays alive, every opportunity that he has to stay alive, like CR not letting that player do is he's going aggressive into the box. Tyler going down back to Janus and Wolfies. That is the point. They are in this game together. If Wolfies surpasses him in placement, surpasses him in elimination, it could be his, but right now Janus has a very, very big lead that Wolfies is gonna need to play out of his mind to overcome, to surpass him. As we get a nice look at the lobby, we'll see we'll see big names there. Cami there as well. Moki getting elimination. So this this game, this is it. The tension is building. Wolfies, Janice, who is gonna come out on top? Right now here, on board with Cami on the low ground, watching this entire stack side of Poly Hedge, the next 50-50 zone. Not a single player is pulled in that zone. Every single player has to rotate in. One player does have a nice little hop and skip, but everyone else is going to be sprinting into that open space across. We're going to see a number of players go down here in the rotation and make sure you're keeping an eye in that top left corner. If Wolfies goes down, that is it. But if he starts racking up the eliminations, Janice could start to sweat. Again, it all comes down to this. This is the final game in EU. It's all on the line here. Who walks away with $120,000 grand prize? And who walks away saying they are the best solo player? Chapter 2, Season 2 in Europe. That is a huge title to be taking away. As you see Cami with a nice little rotation right along the edge of the hedge. Desperately trying to rotate into the zone along these old builds. And honestly doing a good job of breaking up the sight lines here. You can see him thinking about trying to pull out a nice little quick, click, uh, quick scope. But not going to happen there as he gets into the safety of the zone and starts swapping over to hard mats. And you'll see him now start to look back towards players to try to get any eliminations that he can. 39 players. And it's dropping pretty quickly. Two more players going down. Left eye getting elimination. Rezon getting elimination there. Pink going down here to Cammy. What a nice catch there by them. As you see, now starting to get the match that they need to make this in game possible to make their climb towards that upper echelon. They, they're not going to get first. There's not a mathematical chance for them. They need about 100 points, and there's no way they can get it. As placement points already being divvied out, they need to eliminate almost the entire lobby. I want to point out Wolfie's in your middle of your screen is alive. Looking to see is Janice there? We did not see him go down. Taste on there as well. As we hop on board here with Wolfies, the player trying to dethrone Janice, who has been on top almost the entire day. This is going to be very, very close. He knows the amount of points he has to get. He knows it's got to be elimination heavy, and he's been pressing forward this entire game. He's been pressing forward this entire tournament. And also, don't forget, just because someone else is going down in that regard, all of these other pages we've seen, you get pay bumps moving up different thresholds. All of these other interactions are not only for pride and being able to say, hey, I took down this other player, but you can move up another tier. We've seen huge last-minute games crew at the World Cup going from 66 to 6 in a single game. Players are able to make fantastic runs, but right now it's about the top two. Wolfie's looking desperately to try and push into the box here. Not going to be able to find it. Does not have the SMG that is so typical of players desperately trying to push in a box. However, he's hawking the backside here. Not going to find the pump as the player does close it off. And he also needs to start being aware of his lowering builds. Down to 65 player in his box. This could be the end of it, but Wolfie says no, it's not the end. Sundown cleans up another Elim, pushes him up to number four, and then immediate launch pads out. Says, I got to get out of dodge. Wants nothing to do with that situation. Not taking the 50-50. Another fantastic distance from Wolfies the second one we've seen this game to get him out get him reset and keep the hopes of a dream alive and finds the launch pad knows somebody else set up a low pad not quite gonna find it but does still have two floppers to be able to go off on the backside needs to be careful getting caught here looking for a pick last of his floppers so it's all down to it 70 HP 28 HP for him 18 HP and a dream Wolfies will he be able to find it he has to find a refresher he
He only has the mini pot, and if he's not able to pick up something here, it's the end. He pushes forward. He gets one. Fanta goes down, and Fanta had picked up Queasy right before, so he gets all the mats from that. Wolfie's pushing into the top 20, trying to find the zone, and he turns around, and he gets Frey, and not only does he get Frey, he gets a pair of floppers, but no other mobility has another stack there, but he has to find a launch pad. If he's not able to get in the zone, Janus will be the king of the Europe. He finds the shots in the zone, but the player covers up. 18 HP, 6 HP. He gets the siphon right in time for it to convert over. Desperately looking for any amount of floppers, but he can't find it. Wolfies does everything he can, but 13th place in seven eliminations is not enough. Janus goes down in the top 10, but he'll go down a champion as our final lobby will now finally close out. Flick on the high ground, Kinzel on the middle. We got FaZe Mongo also in there, a who's who of top EU players. But in terms of who is who today, it is all about Wave Janus. And Janus coming through, 254 points was enough. That is it. it. Whoever ends up winning this is just looking to get more money and get to that top placement. But Janus is your victor, is your FNCS European invitational champion as we see mongol trying to get a game going in his favor does have floppers does have the ability to make the play his shots will come through momentarily here for him he is not going to connect there on the critical one getting dropped down doesn't have a lot of bills nice shot there 100 damage but he gets tagged up for a lot no more floppers to make it happy his hand gonna take him down we'll see if flick and 4zr a hand can get to the top is flick gonna go down we haven't seen much of it but 184 points means that he's up near the top of the leaderboard does have the mythic ar and the grappler to make a play nice builds but he doesn't have a lot remaining you hear the builds being broken shotgun shots being taken flick not losing a lot of hp door edited and that's gonna be the victory royale there for flick with four elimination come on hen haven't you ever heard of closing the gosh darn door flick will take advantage of that every single time but a fantastic final game the wave counterpart closing it out just as janice was able to close out the entire region we're gonna toss it on over to zeke who will take it away for us i'm right here sundown jokes on you no we're gonna go to a house party just a little bit. <laughs> guys that was a great game there final game out of eu now of course what we want to do is we need to take a look at the standings right there was a lot of stories unfolding there we know that Aqua in, headed into that game with 217 points in second place. Did he hold on to that first place? Did Janice hold on to first? Let's take a look at the standings together. In your number one spot, Janice held it down 254 points. Your FNCS Invitational Champion. I mean, Mr. Consistent, we talked about it over the course of the 12 games. He, in the final game as well, getting top 10, not rolling off an elimination, but the fact that three of the 12 games, he was outside of the top 15, and almost every single one of those top 15s, he was top 10. Like, that's ridiculous over the course, particularly in this region. But let's also not discount Flick there right at the end, charging, like absolutely charging up the leaderboard, ended up with 195 points, putting himself into six. A great performance. Thomas HD on the day also played great. Wolfies with a monumental run at the end and a couple shots going his way. Could have ended up doing it. As we switch on over to the next page, we see the top 20 rounded out. Cami, 4ZR, CRR, Razon, Mr. Savage, Anos, Milan, Mitro, Humplify, and Airwalks. I mean, a who's who of some of the best players in Europe right there. As we move over, we'll see another big cage. 26 being Mongrel there. You see Slick, Nappy, Dolly there as well. All these players getting a good amount of money for just making it here to the finals and placing in that top tier of players. We see Chapix, we see Moraine, we see Maestro, we see Drobin. A lot of big plays happen throughout the day. And again, if you just tuned in for some odd reason, Janice did take home the victory, uh, the, the overall victory of Europe. First place there for him, absolutely insane. As we move over to the next phase, you'll see high drop, Sebi, Blazin, Frey, Tiago, and Norwood there in 49. And I mean, just brilliant performances coming out from all of them there. And you see, as we continue going through just tons of players, I really don't want like, I really want to underscore the fact that like 
every one of these players is capable of placing anywhere on this leaderboard. It all comes down to consistency, mentality, and who's having a better weekend. Sometimes it's just things aren't rolling your way, so you don't want to discount the efforts of some of these phenomenal players. They went through such a grueling process to even get here and be invited to make an FNCS Grand Final or to make it through Opens and qualify through for some of these players. That's a ton of effort. It's a ton of solo gameplay, and it really shows a solid amount of resilience to be able to get there. But also, at the end of the day, you have to applaud the level of consistency coming out of Janus and coming out of the players who are able to place in the top. And also, again, I know I kind of, like, I didn't want to undersell it, but we were definitely celebrating Janus at the end there. Flick, essentially, that last game was a $38,000 game for him. Like, able to just run himself through and turn it into a victory. So even while, like, all of us are focusing on whether or not Wolf is able to take away that last spot, if you go back through and check what Flick did in the last game, it was a sick performance. He's another player who is able to kind of really grow throughout the course of the Invitational. I think somebody we're going to be forced to now keep an eye on as we go forward with the rest of Better Fortnite.